Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to an action packed video. In this video today, we are going to be looking at the Paul Pogba flashback SBC that EA have just released. Deciding is he worth it? Is he good enough for a top tier team? We're looking at the new team of the year icons that came out today and the team of the year defenders and keepers. You don't want to miss out on this one. Are you fed up of getting out teamed on FIFA? Want that God squad that you've always dreamed of? Check out MMO EXP and use code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out the link below. MMO EXP, the best place to buy coins. Okay, here we are with Paulie Pogba. Five star, four star like normal Pogba. A five star weak foot would have been very nice, but I'm not surprised they didn't give him it. High, medium, six foot three. Now on the base, that card looks pretty good. Outside the foot's in there. Uh, flare, pretty much expected. We'll go for each bit, bit by bit. So the pace, 81 pace at this point of the game for a top tier midfielder, honestly, is a little bit low. It's not terrible, it's usable, but when we look at all the team of the year midfielders, they're at least 85 plus. Uh, Chiellini is honestly 88 pace. Pedri, 83 pace. Lots of the icon midfielders, mid A's. This Pogba's a bit below average when it comes to the pace. And for me, that's quite a bad start to the card. The shooting, pretty good. If you wanted to go a hunter on this guy, shooting becomes very good. 88 finishing, 99 shot power, good long shot. It's got the Traveller trait. The passing is excellent. And I, this has come to expect with Pogba. Any high rate Pogba card is going to have very good passing. And the passing, honestly, is a lot better than 89. It's key passing stats, vision, short and long pass. More like 92, 93 averaged out. So it is 93 averaged out, basically. So very good passing on the card. The dribbling, though, not as good as 90 dribbling should be. 82 agility, 80 balance. That with 93 dribbling, he will feel good on the ball, but he won't feel special like the variety Modric type player. So a little bit clunky, a bit slow, not great. And people say, oh, you haven't tried the card out, Zell. You can't know that. I know this game well. A card that's 6-3 with those dribbling stats, he'll feel decent on the ball, but he isn't going to feel that great. That's just the, the bare facts, basically. I can tell you that without playing 100 games with him. The defending, decent. But that defending awareness is a bit low, but it's more than fine that he could play a creative, roaming centre mid in a lot of formations. But I wouldn't be putting him as a defensive minded one. And then physically, as you'd expect, this Pogba's a beast. So on the base of it, this is a pretty good card. Not that close to the team of the years. Honestly, I don't think like he's any better than someone like Chiellini. Chiellini's way quicker. Got pretty similar shot. Bit worse passing. Similar on the ball. Worse defending, but about not much worse physical, but five-star weak foot. That seven pace is huge. Um, a lot of midfielders that have come out, he's probably somewhere between 10 to 20 in the midfield. I don't think this Pogba's going to be a top 10 midfielder off the cuff we'll look at midfielders and compare but it's a good midfielder very good links being french juve is going to be a strong link to the chesney keeper or more importantly di maria so that could be a very good link so he is good i definitely think he's good enough to go into a very good team especially if you want him as links for like di maria or french players but let's look at the cost 83 86 88 87 so that doesn't sound cheap to me Let's go have a look at what Footbin saying he's coming in at. He is coming in at 560k. Now, obviously, you're going to have fodder. This card is available for 30 days. So the fact he's available for 30 days, there's going to be a lot of fodder available, a lot of chances um, to get fodder. I don't think it's a crazy price. Um for a, a very decent Pogba card with great links. But is the card top, top tier? Not mm. sure about that. Let's go compare them to a few midfielders before we carry on with other parts of the video. I would like to use him, but I've already got Modric in there that I got untradeable for my foot champs. Um, I could put Di Maria in, but then I'd have to get rid of someone else. I just don't know if he can justify the price tag, to be honest. Um... Yeah, so we're going to look at midfielders. We're just going to look at midfielders that I think are better than this Pogba. So, all the team of the years, of course. It's a Dan, of course. Um, Beckham. This Beckham was miles better. Is this Perlo better? 
Probably not. Pogba's got a better shot, much better physical, better defending, but Perlo's a lot better on the ball, but I wouldn't be a massive gap between them. I'd rather have Mateus. We'll look at the team, the icons that released this separately. I'd rather use this Benzema than Pogba. I think this Benzema's better, a little bit quicker. Um, better on the ball, probably. I don't know, actually. It's pretty close, to be fair, when you look at it. Pogba's got a bit better passing, uh, similar dribbling. Well, yeah, maybe Pogba, a bit slower, but yeah, to be fair, Pogba's probably about as good as this guy. Maybe I'm underrating this Pogba. I think this Pogba actually is pretty good when I compare him to a lot of midfielders. I think 550k for this Pogba, pretty reasonable, considering it's you can get it with fodder and you've got 30 days to grind it out. I I wouldn't be like saying, yes, go do that Pogba. Just He's a must-do SBC at that price. But if you've got Di Maria, which a lot of people do, French is a very good nation and he links your team up well. I think it is pretty good. I'd be half tempted because he is better than this Chiellini, to be fair. Much better defending, physical, passing. I am tempted by this Pogba, you know. I, I might end up doing him. I think I've got a lot of fodder and I think it's a pretty good looking card. It's just long term. Is a 550, 600k SBC. Is he worth that? Maybe not. That's where the questions come in. And this is what EA do. They want you to kind of be like um and ah and like just go for it in the end because you're like, it just is that good. This Pogba is borderline good value, borderline not good value, but is a very good midfielder when we compare him to the current mayor. So, fair fair price to EA SBC. I can't complain about it. In terms of the new team of the years, we've got the defenders. Virgil van Dijk. Now, that pace split is pretty bad. The pace split being like that's not good because it means you can't put a shadow on and get the full boost. If you put a shadow on and he's got 88 Excel, 99 Sprint, he is going to be rapid for a centre-back, don't get me wrong. But if he had like 89, or if you took 6 off in game 6, if you had, uh, no, even 4. If you gave him 91 Sprint, 84 Excel, he'd be a lot better. He'd have 4 more Excel, basically. But the defending being, he's going to be 99 on all his defending stats, basically. Elite physical, great on the ball, 99 reaction composure. This Van Dijk is going to be insane he's going to be right up there so van dyke very very good courtois i don't think you'll notice a massive difference but he will be a bit better than the normal one so once he drops in price i'll probably get him if he's reasonable uh edda militao probably will be better than van dyke if you are playing at a high level at a high level where it's more about pace and through balls i think he'll be better uh, a bit of a lower level where people can't break you down with through balls as well. And you can just sit a bit deeper. Circuit pressure, I think Van Dijk will be better. But both these team the centre-backs look very, very good. Hakimi, it's going to be a long time until we get a better right-back than Hakimi. Four-star, four-star. 99-99, he's going to be insanely quick. Great passing, amazing on the ball. Elite defending. Um, really good physical. Like That is... There's a debate that he's the best card that's come out out of Team of the Year for his position. Obviously, I would not want that Hakimi over an Mbappe, De Bruyne, cards like that. But he's an insane right back. He could be used for the rest of the year, no doubt. And then the last one, Theo Hernandez. Theo Hernandez, not quite as good as that Hakimi. He's three star, three star. Not got 99 XL. Not that 97 is bad. <laughs> um, the dribbling, he's a little bit worse on the ball. A little bit worse defending. Um, so I do think Hakimi's a bit better. But Theo Hernandez is the best left back in the game still. So the team of the year defenders and keeper. Very, very good. Van Dijk. Wish he'd had a bit more of a pace. Split. That was better. And Edin Militao. Only plus four pace on a card. Um, and I think his gold's 86. So I was a bit surprised that he's only got plus four pace. But I guess EA trying to elongate the curve a bit. The team of the year icons. I didn't see Gerd Muller had got one. Ronaldinho, what's his icon profile? Kicked off at, it kicked off at five minutes past midnight. It's home debut. Fair enough. I mean, Dino is going to be insane. He'll be one of the very, very best attackers. Um, he's just going to be a stupid price. Does Gerd Muller have a five star? I mean, the lack of five star on this guy's disappointing. If he'd got a five star week for it, he could have been really, really good. Um, 
I would probably be going an engine on him. An engine on him gives him 98 excel, 89 sprint, which is pretty quick. He's already got an elite shot. His passing will be pretty good then. He'll be very good on the ball. Um, his physical's decent. He's going to be pretty good. He's got both the shooting traits, but I don't think he's as good as some of the other icons we'll get. Nesta, he'll be pretty good. He'll basically be like a Van Dyke that's a bit clunkier and a bit slower. Um, but, yeah, good, but no one's too excited about Nesta. Uh, Makaleli. Four-star weak foot on Makaleli is pretty nice. Um, fast. He's... He looks pretty cracked, to be honest, in terms of as an all-round midf um, midfielder when it comes to the defending side of things. But going forward, he's pretty bad. As a defensive-minded fielder, though, he will be very good. But I'm not too excited about that card either. Van der Sar, him or Courtois will be the best keeper in the game. Ashley Cole's the last one we got. Four-star skills. He's a little bit like the Captavia card, to be fair, just a bit worse physically. I'd be interested to see... How expensive this Ashley Cole ends up at, but decent. But at the end of the day, it's a left back. So to round up today's video, the team of the year icons pretty good. Dino's obviously top top tier. The rest not too exciting. The team of the year defenders look amazing as you'd expect. And that Pogba SBC, I'm really torn on it. But my thoughts are, if you've got Di Maria and he fits your team and he's a good upgrade with the way Fodder's going to be during the team of the year, 30 days to him, I think it's pretty good value SBC from here. Do I think he's top, top tier? No, but he's right in that tier below. I'm going to be doing my tier list on defenders, midfielders, and attackers this week. Pogba's probably going to be like A, A+, plus bordering on the S tier, which is pretty good value for a 500k SBC that you're going to have lots of fodder for. So that's my thoughts. Appreciate you guys watching this video. As always, keep it spicy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.